Today I am going to teach you degree of freedom. So welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Engineering Management. The short form of degree of freedom is DOF. The minimum number of independent variables required to define the position or motion of the system is known as degree of freedom. So this is the definition of the degree of freedom. Unconstrained rigid body in space describes six degree of freedom. There are three translational motion and three rotational motion. So here you can see three translational motion on x axis, on y axis, and on z axis, and three rotational motion about x axis, about y axis, and about z axis. Now let's see one by one all these six different motion of the body. So first moving left and right here you can see on the x axis. Next moving up and down here you can see on the y axis. Next moving forward and back on the z axis here you can see. So these three are the translational motion. Now next, rotate about x axis, here you can see. Next, rotate about y axis. And next, rotate about z axis. So these three are the rotational motion. Unconstrained rigid body in a plane has three degree of freedom. So let's consider this figure. This is the plane on which this is the unconstrained rigid body. So having three degree of freedom. Here you can see that is move on the x axis and on the y axis. So two translational motion and one rotational motion about the z axis. So, in the 2D figure, you can explain like that on X axis and Y axis. It can move in X axis or it can move in Y axis. That means 2 degree of freedom and 1 that is rotate about the Z axis. So, 3 degree of freedom. There are two translational that means on X axis and on Y axis. Here you can see and one rotational motion about the z axis. Next, significance of degree of freedom. Degrees of freedom sometimes called as the mobility of a mechanism. Degree of freedom of a mechanism indicates minimum number of inputs required to have a constraint or definite motion of links of the mechanism. In other words, degree of freedom defines number of directions a body can move. Example, degree of freedom is equal to 2 means two inputs may be necessary to get constrained motion of other links. If degree of freedom is greater than 0 means it is a mechanism. So very important point. For the mechanism, degree of freedom must be greater than 0. If degree of freedom is equal to 0, means it is a structure. That means having no any relative motion between the links. Now let us consider motion of ship at C as 6 degree of freedom. So this is the ship having 6 degree of freedom. First up and down, so here you can see up and down that is called as elevating or heaving, here you can see on the vertical axis. Next left and right, here you can see left and right that is called as the strafing or swaving, here you can see on the transverse axis. Next forward and backward. This is the forward and backward on the x axis. 
that is called as the walking and surging. So here you can see on the longitudinal axis. Next, swivels left and right. Here you can see about the z axis that is called as the u wing. Here you can see about the vertical axis. Next, tilts forward and backward that is called as pitching. So here you can see rotate about y axis and here you can see rotate about the transverse axis. Next, pivots side to side about the x axis that is called as ruling. Here you can see about the longitudinal axis. Next, examples to count degree of freedom. So let's consider this figure. So first consider this figure A. Rigid body has no possible move in any direction. So here you can see the rigid body that is fixed in the plane and so that there is a zero degree of freedom. Now consider this figure B as movement is possible in one direction only that is in x direction and so that there is only one degree of freedom. So here with this help of this figure you can understand there is only one motion is possible along the x axis and so that you can say degree of freedom is equal to 1. Next consider this figure C as it can revolve about y axis only. So it is revolve like that. So here you can see in this single slider connect chain mechanism this red color link is revolve about this point. And so that you can say there is a single degree of freedom because of it can revolve only about this axis only. There is no any other movement possible. So there is a single degree of freedom. That's why it is written as 1. Next, consider this figure D. As one element can move in Z axis like that. And here you can see the arrow direction. And also revolve about Z axis. It is like that. And so that there is one translatory motion and one rotational motion. So degree of freedom is equal to 2. If you want to see more engineering videos, then subscribe my YouTube channel and go to playlist. Thanks my dear friends. Press the like button to appreciate this video.